God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Wednesday, April 6th. Today's devotional is based on Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. You were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work among those who are disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses, and we were by nature children of wrath like everyone else. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he, he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of work, so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Adam Eckert. A redemptive ethic calls the church to begin the actual process of critiquing and transforming the powers. As Christ's body, we seek to continue Christ's work of rising from trespasses and sins and being made alive together again. This work begins within the church. And we're left with this question today. In what ways are you and your church involved in God's redemptive ethic? Let us pray. Saved through faith, I offer my life to you for all that I may be and do in this world. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whenever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy, that during these waning days of the current wave of the pandemic, that you're still practicing social distancing, that you're still washing your hands frequently, and when you're out in public, you're still wearing a mask. God bless.